The Nigerian army has recovered 93 un unexploded ordnances, also known as bombs, at the Kedja military cantonment Lagos in its ongoing operation dubbed Exercise Clean Sweep. The army recently launched the exercise to clear the area following the 2002 bomb blast that rocked the cantonment. Despite previous clearance and disposal exercises, remnants of unexploded ordnances have been discovered within and around the vicinity of the bomb blast, leading to safety and security concerns for the inhabitants of the cantonment and nearby areas. Director at the Directorate of Explosives Search and Disposal, Nigerian Army Engineers and Coordinator of Exercise Clean Sweep, Colonel Abu Razak Kazim, while speaking at the maiden briefing of the exercise in Lagos, disclosed that the bombs varied in caliber and descriptions. So we mark them with different colors. You have the blue, you have the green, you have the amber, and you have the red. So the epicenter is in red, and it keeps on. So those particular areas that I saw it are actually the amber areas that are not within the epicenter. So in as much as they are non-sensitive, we still have restrictions on them. If you move around the cantonment, you see where the cantonment commander has placed before even the commencement of this exercise. There are signs and markings that the cantonment commander and the Nigerian army authorities have put in those general areas. Even the non-sensitive areas, even areas that were suspecting that U.S. soldiers are warning them to keep off putting soldiers in those areas, putting tents there to prevent and dissuade them from coming there. So these measures have been put in place before now. If those are not in place, you'd have seen lots of human activities within those general areas. But if you move there, you'll see that they are thickly, full, they are thickly vegetated, which means that it symbolizes the absence of human activities or habitation within those general areas. Also speaking, the safety officers for the exercise, Lieutenant Colonel Olusheyi Bamikoli highlighted that adequate equipment, demarcations, and trained personnel have been made available to identify USOs before recovery. We have other measures in place to ensure that the recovered uh, unexploded ordnance did not pass the, 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 the normal and required limits within the environment in case there is an accident so that we can easily put them under control. And also, as regards the disposal of the of those that will be saved for movement to the demolition site. Uh, before that, we have conducted different inspection and reiki of the site where the demolition uh, exercise will take place. Also, before the commencement of uh, the exercise, just as the exercise coordinator mentioned earlier, there is going to be early warning to farmers and people within the environment to give early warning that social activities will be taking place in that place so as to prevent any form of accident and as well there's going to be uh, a red flag as well as a demarcation you know uh, boundaries that we restrict naturally restrict on unauthorized access to the uh, to the exercise area hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates